past haunted her. She longed for her mother in Hainan and the old life. She remembered the hunger of the war and the horror of babies being flung in the air and caught on bayonets. And the years of wondering whether my father was dead or alive. She relived the terror which made her lock herself in her cabin for the month it took to sail to Africa. I remember how hard she worked, always cleaning, cooking, growing bean sprouts, sewing all our underwear from rice sacks, and every night making bow ties for Chinese restaurants. South Africa, she suffered a severe mental breakdown and was treated for manic depression. She would alternate between being bedridden and being ecstatic. This condition persisted for 15 years until she died. My father insisted we lay her to rest in China, but relations between China and Taiwan were strained, and his diplomatic position made this impossible. So he compromised, and her body was flown to Taiwan and buried. <laughs> 